the Pentagon uh, is develop, uh, developing microchips to detect COVID under the skin. This started out as a DARPA project and for the military. And I can totally see its use for like biological attacks and stuff like that. If you're in the military and you, you need to be able to detect that stuff. On, on a civilian level, I see all I see with this is causing, you know, look at look at the way people are acting right now with masks and all of this stuff. They see what somebody without a mask and they flip their shit and, you know, it, like they're going to die or something. If you had a little tracker in you, it, for, you know, forget about the biblical implications of this that I think about. But if you had a little tracker in you that all of a sudden went off and alerted you that there was some sort of abnormality in your blood or whatever, people would lose it. It, for, for over nothing. I mean, people would absolutely lose their crap over nothing. So I don't see how that could be a good thing. Well, wait till they wait till down the road when they're monitoring your, you know, you got a little chip like that monitoring your blood pressure, your blood sugar, uh, all this different, this different feedback about you and your insurance company says, Hey, if you want insurance, yeah, you need to have this in you to monitor your stuff. So that way, you know, Hey, we can make sure that you're the healthiest person possible. You know, you, when you, when, we, when it detects that you have some sort of bacteria or something going on, you know, five days before you would have detected it, then it would be maybe a cheaper drug regimen to, you know, to get it under control or whatever. So the, the implications of this are like pretty far reaching. Yeah. Yeah. I can, it kind of like with insurance companies for cars, how they put the little tracker inside your car to see how your, your driving ability is. We talked about this last week too, but so, yeah, I think it, it gets to the point where you, it, it, it almost, you know, we can all sit and talk about, hey, I'll never do that. I'll never do this. I don't know about getting an impl in, in microchip implanted in my, my hand because being um, religious like I am, that would bother me a whole lot. Um, but, at the same time, like you were talking about, when it comes down to, hey, if you want insurance, say, we'll use today's numbers because in 10 years when something like this comes out, the numbers are going to be totally different. But say, if you want insurance for $150 a month or whatever, you're going to have to get this in it implanted. Otherwise, it's going to be, you know, 1500 bucks, 1000 bucks. Well, I mean, what do insurance. we do now? I mean, we have, you know, remote monitoring of people's blood sugar. They'll have uh, the, that Bluetooth from an attachment on their side or whatever into their phone. You know, we're doing stuff with, uh, for the heart, we're, you know, with pacemakers and all that now. So we're putting this stuff already in their bodies. How far, what's the stretch to go from that to, hey, this, we're putting this chip in that monitors what's going on. So we can monitor your heart with a smaller, you know, because a pacemaker, they're putting wires in and it's this big, you know, contraption they're hooking up. If they're able to get that, my, you know, get that more uh, micro-sized, and A, it can monitor all this stuff about your health because you're old and you're, you know, you got a, a heart's kind of not ticking so well. Maybe they can monitor for if somebody's had, you know, maybe there's signs that will tell, tell them if somebody's having a blood clot hours before they have a blood clot that causes a stroke. Yeah. You know, it, it gets down to the point. Do you say, who, do, do people are going to say no to that? Sure. I'm sure they will. But it's going to become normalized. Yeah, it, it gets to that it gets to that point where it's you have to make that decision. Now, I think medically, like like with HIPAA laws and all that stuff, you go to the doctor, all that, all your information, all that information is internal on their system um, or is supposed to be anyway. I mean, who knows what the NSA these days, but so if it was something like that, that was, um, you know, part of that medical industry, um, yeah. you know, I could something, I don't know that they, <laughs> I don't know that they want people to live longer. Um, we're, we're already talking about, I know Bill Gates doesn't, <laughs> but yeah, I, don't, I mean, maybe, maybe certain people, I mean, maybe that's how yeah, this goes. Yeah. Right? So if, if you're rich and wealthy and you can control it, the, the problem that I have with, I don't have a problem with the, if they come up with some technology, eventually it allows me to live a longer, healthier, happier life. What I have a problem with is who, where does that information flow stop and yeah. what additional information do they start requiring? Cause once you start once you get something inside someone's body that provides information, it's not a big stretch to go out and well, what, what about this? Why don't we get information on you on this? And it can help you, you know, same kind of thing. It's this same way the government interesting does. Times. Yeah. The same way government and companies do everything that death by a thousand cuts, the boiling frog type thing where uh, taxation, you start out with a little bit and then pretty soon you look back and uh, they they can monitor every damn thing you're doing. Yeah. 
crazy. Megan yeah. said in there too that um, everything can be hacked too. Yeah, that's a big issue. Um, I think there. Yeah. Um, I I think there was. I I don't know how many times, but I think that some of the medical stuff has been hacked before. I don't remember what the ins and outs of that were, but oh, um, I. The, the, the whole HIPAA thing is great. The whole privacy thing is great. As long as everybody in that want that agrees that's in there agrees to be, let's keep their, their information private. It's like, you know, Megan says, you know, or who, you know, if there's a hacker or who else knows who can get access to this stuff or who has access to the stuff, yeah. you know, it, it's when does it, the, the problem comes in when somebody doesn't place value uh, on your, on your other people's personal information, as far as protecting that personal information. And I don't know, we have a society and a world that shows that they really don't give two shits about other people's personal information or certain people don't if it benefits them. So, I mean, the federal government, the OPM was hacked years ago. I still get, um, credit notifications from credit monitoring stuff going back. I don't know whenever that OPM hack happened about 10 years ago, maybe, maybe seven years ago where they got every security clearance for anybody who's ever filed a security clearance in the, in the federal government. They got all their information that has your social security number, names, relatives, all that stuff. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago, Yeah, but they have that information. So where's your health? Who, who, who's, you know, yeah, I, that's, that's where all this, and I don't, I, I hate to, I mean, I don't, I don't want to make it sound like I, I'm afraid of all this technology and all this crap, but uh, it just opens up a whole lot of doors for, you know, this, this new stuff that we don't, you know, that you don't know until you know type thing. So they don't know how to fight something until something happens. And then, uh, and when all of this, this information gets put on one big system and then the government decides that, you know, like you were just talking about, like with the FISA stuff and decides that there's just more information they can get a warrant for, or they pass laws to be able to, to access this, this information or that information. And pretty soon you're, you know, they can get um, through you know, jump through hoops or whatever and get all the, the all this information about you, anything they want, legally or otherwise, as they've proven. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, add it into the Patriot Act, man. We're good. Yeah. And I, I think all this stuff is inevitable, whether it's a microchip in your hand, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's, you know, maybe they, you talked about this a couple weeks ago too, about the, the phone being your mic. Everybody carries your phone around. Um, there's, there's ways that all of our stuff is being tracked right now. And, it, and, that has nothing to do with anything being implanted in our body and they can track yeah. just about everything we do because we've, we've become so used to all this stuff. Uh, somebody, so I read something the other day about how, um, you know, it's so expensive living these days. The cost of living is so high these days. And it kind of goes into this because when you, and somebody was talking about how it's really not, it's kind of a double edged sword. Yes. The cost of living is higher, but it's not as bad as people think because back in like my grandma's day, um, she didn't have 14 different TV platforms to choose from, a monthly subscription to Netflix and Amazon and all this different stuff. Didn't have the video game consoles, didn't have four TVs in your house and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, it was it was basic back then. You had one, tel you met one maybe two telephones in a house, you know. Now yeah. you have a phone that you're spending, what, what's a new iPhone run? Thousand bucks? At least, right? yeah. So you're spending a thousand plus dollars on a phone and then you have a, a plan that, with the dad and all the stuff, a lot of times now is well over a hundred bucks, 120, 130 bucks a month. Yeah. Grandma didn't pay that. Yeah. And, yeah, and they along all that, that's complicated. Yeah. And my, my whole point with this is along with all of that stuff comes the tracking stuff comes the, you know, they can, they can get into every single thing you do. Uh, maybe not with the Netflix, but I guarantee you Amazon does it and everybody uses Amazon these days. So um, they yeah. can figure out. Well, there's only there's only three possible ways we go with technology. We keep going down the technology route and technology keeps, we, we keep exchanging uh, personal information and uh, allow intrusion into our lives because of convenience that the technology offers and the, that technology keeps going and uh, AI develops and everything goes forward with that. Or we as a species decide that we've had enough and we're done with all this technology, which I don't see that happening. The yeah. other thing is some sort of mass event happens like a, a coronal mass ejection, a nuclear war, some sort of uh, disaster that disrupts society so bad that we no longer have electronics or we no longer things melt down to the point where maybe people, we're not generating power. Something happens and that brings up that whole thing. OK, if we don't have our technology, 
what it, now what kind of a boat we're in. So anyway, we go with this, we're kind of screwed. Yeah. We move if it can down continue. path one, hey, here's all this great technology to prolong your life and give up all your information and freedoms and live in 1984. Hey, what, what causes human beings to decide to give it up? Probably pretty bad shit. And then the, the other one is a ma major cataclysm of some sort, whether it's a war, a CME, a nuclear bomb, any of this crap. Uh, you know, something hits the earth and, and cracks us to the point where we don't have technology anymore. Yeah, literally everything stops because everything is based on the internet, electricity, all of that stuff. So yes, life would uh, basically stop. And that's what I'm going to get into with some of my prepping concerns too. Uh, and I want to get your your ideas on that too, but um, more localized, um, you know, yeah. not, not depending on all of this crap so much, but... Uh, yeah, I suppose there's one other option that 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 humans actually say, "Hey, let's be personally responsible with this. Let's not abuse the power and abuse the authority," and then everything goes away. Kumbaya, we move down the road with our technology. I don't see that happening. <laughs> not, 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 not with people in charge. Because even even if we got rid of the yahoos that are in charge right now, there's more yahoos waiting to take their spot. Oh. And and as soon as somebody gets in power, uh, they just they humans just have this tendency to jack crap up and that's what we've done throughout history and now we've just got cooler tools to be able to do it faster